Yo, how's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day as well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import and of course texture within Blender. This is a very important tutorial because a lot of you guys have been recommending me to do this and finally I'm actually doing it. So hopefully this tutorial does help. If it does, please drop a like down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe because I've got many more tutorials in the near future. Of course, leave your comments down below of what tutorials you like to see, if that's to do with Photoshop or more things that you like to know about fortnite blender and other things and stuff like that that you probably are stuck on already and hopefully are going to help you out with a future tutorial there are going to be a few links down below as well one is going to be for you model and another one is going to be for the psk that is for importing the skin into as well blender so what you're going to have to do is click on the winrar to download the u model it's going to come down the bottom down here and of course this one for the psk right there very simple for you guys so all you got to do what i'm going to do anyway is to drag them to your desktop or my desktop and you could do whatever you guys would like to do so what i'm going to show you first is how to actually import the psk properly so if you go to open up blender very quickly as well i'm going to show you how to do it as well it doesn't take long whatsoever so if we go to edit go to preferences and then if we go to add-ons and go to install Go to your desktop by going to the C drive if you saved it there as well. It just makes it a lot easier for you. So go to users if you didn't see that. A users there and then just a rapper. That's my name. Well, it used to be back in the day. Then it's why you need to try it and find desktop. And I already have one there from one in the past, but the one that I just put in is this one right here. So that's the one that you're going to click on. And then you go install add add on. And just to check if it's there, just go PSK and it should come up there. PSK and that's what you need. That's the add on that you have. Just to check one more time, go to import down the bottom, file import PSK. And then that's how you're going to get your model. So that's the blender part done. For the U model, what you're going to do is open up as well the bit that you have for Epic Games, whatever you've saved it. So for most people, it's in their C drive. So if you go here, program files and stuff like that. But for myself, it is going to be well, I've saved it in a different drive. So I have it in here, Fortnite game content packs. And then this is where I have mine. So you're going to open up the WinRAR and then these two files here, what you're going to do is actually drag these two into here. That's what you're going to do and that's it that's pretty much it complete so when you've done that guys you're going to open up your model and you're going to ask or it's going to ask you to do these things so the game directory that is going to be the Fortnite one that we have here unreal engine 4 and then we're going to go down to uh, unreal engine 4.23 i'm going to click sound make sure everything looks like this hopefully it does for you now press ok now this bit here is actually the ALC a Oh, I can't even say it. AES key encryption thing. This is where you can get into the Fortnite game files and everything that is in there. So on this or in the description down below with the links, there's actually going to be a code that I'm going to update every single time. So every single update, if you want to, you can come back to this video and stuff like that. And I'll try and update it every single time for you guys. So hopefully that is the best way to do it for you guys because I know it'd be quite confusing. So all you got to do is just copy and paste that into there. Now when loaded, what you're going to do as well, you're going to find the character that you want. For myself, I'm going to pick as well one of the female characters that are going to be Waypoint. And in the game files, just remember that not all the skins are as well what they're named in game. So for so this one is actually called Blue Badass for some odd reason. I do not know why, but you know, let's just click it. There we go. This is a skin, the Waypoint skin. I'm going to export this, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you actually make a new folder on my desktop to actually show you where you can actually export it to. So I'm going to name this as well test and I'm going to go here options and then where it has here, I'm going to click on PC, I think it is desktop, then test the file or the folder that I just made, and that's where it's going to export to. You can do it the same place where you've actually as well put your U model download thing into as well if you want to. It's up to you. You could put it wherever you want. Just remember where you've put it anyway, because when you export something, then you're going to have to export it again if you cannot find it. So there you go. Going to export this now. Now the another thing that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do the heads itself i'm not going to have anything else with it like the hat or anything i'm going to do that in a separate tutorial just to make it a little bit easier for you guys so this one here i've just uh, closed bodies gone down to heads and for this one it is actually starfish this is the head that is actually used 
and there we go this is the head that is used for the waypoint so if i export this and we are now done in new model but before we exit i'm just going to say to you if you want to use other things out of here so there's actually weapons if you scroll to the bottom as well for you guys you can actually have rifles all the meshes and stuff like that for weapons that are also in save the world i'm pretty sure this was in battle rail back in the day but yeah you can find whatever you really want in here so if you want to find props i think it's in environmental somewhere and then you can actually go props and find some stuff that you need and oh okay i actually need this to be honest i've just clicked on that randomly but anyway that's how you find things hopefully that has helped and now let's jump into blender now when you open up blender what are you going to do like we said go to file import psk and we're gonna go to that place where we actually saved it so that's going to be on our desktop the test folder game and all these folders were made for when we export it so i just went all the way through so i went to bodies now we're gonna go to the blue face is it blue face no it's not not blue oh my god blue blue badass and a psk import there we go again i'm gonna do this again with the head so the psk gonna go back until we get to the head and there we go the starfish head very simple for you guys that is pretty much it for the importing too as well blender if you got this far all you got to do is add the textures and of course connect the bones now the bit that we're going to go over now is connecting the body and the head together so first i'm going to start off with the bones so if i click the head bone and as well the body bone by holding shift hold control and then press j that is going to group these two now if i click on the head remember that it came up orange that's what you gotta make sure of hold shift click the body hold control press j it's going to complete it and there you go you should end up as well with the actual amateur the bones whatever you want to call it and the body now what before we get into it i just want to say right click and shoot uh, like smooth shade that what that's going to do obviously all this bumpiness and all that is absolutely horrible you do not want this you could do this the other way going object and of course shade smooth there very easy so now if i go to on the bones go to object down to mesh or uh pose sorry and now it should move if it comes out to be as well the bones are moving like differently like the bones are moving but the mesh isn't and that means that you've done it completely wrong so you've probably connected the head like the, it's very confusing how to say it but you kind of understand what i'm saying when you actually do it you kind of uh, click on the head first and then the body and then when you connect the body it's very confusing but you definitely know what i mean if you think about it just do the way i did with the heads and if you you know what i mean it's kind of hard to explain so now we're going to get into the textures hopefully you've gotten this far so far it doesn't take that long whatsoever but now let's get into the textures so first what you're going to do go down to the bottom left here go to this timeline and go up until you see the shader editor well this is going to be for the nose and stuff like that that we're going to use now if we click on the body here on the right hand side this material tab has come up so if we click on that we're going to see as well with the body the hair and the head don't need two lots of the body you can just get rid of one and it doesn't matter which one it is but as well with the body we're going to go to use nodes now for this one i'm going to go to add texture image texture click on that now we need to as well find this so for this one that we go to recent mesh let's go back until we find the texture tab now we're gonna go we're gonna use all the texture of d n and s i'm not sure much about e i haven't got that far into using nodes and stuff like that but i really want to get down to using nodes a little bit more and understanding it for myself i pretty much just know a little bit of basics so that's pretty much it so the d texture is the main one i'm going to connect that to the base color and as well we should see it if we go up to as well look dev instead of its solid form so click on that and there we go we have the full body it looks all right so far but we're not done we need to actually add the other textures here so going to add texture image texture open there this one's going to be s and you know what? i'm going to add the other one whilst we're at it as well image texture open this down here and this one's going to be n very simple so we've got all the textures now we just need to add a few things so first we need to go to as well the separate rb rgb and that is this one here not shader there we go the color make sure the color is actually on non-color data the red i need to have to look at an image because i've kind of forgotten red needs to go to metallic and the green is to 
No, green is to... There we go. Yeah, red is to Spectre and green is to Metallic. There we go. Just make sure you got it that way around so you can see a little bit of things. So a little bit more detail goes into it. Now, go to add. What we need to actually get now is the normal map and also the, I think, RGB curves, I'm pretty sure. So I need to find where that is. So there we go. Color RGB curves. Get that one. Now we need the map. So it should be in this one here. Then we go normal map. Connect these ones up again. That one and this one. But before we do that, go to the green, I think it is, and reverse these two round. That's all you got to do. And just connect the normal to normal. And we are done with the body texture. It doesn't look that way. Is there something going on here? No, it doesn't look okay. That looks pretty good actually. But no, we need to actually do non colored data. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I saw something going on. But there you go. That is it. Make sure you have these on non colored data. That is very important. As you saw, I thought there was a mistake and there was. So there you go. That's all the notes that you need to do. What you're going to need to do now is actually complete the rest for the head. So as well, go to the hair and also head. Make sure you check the nodes and stuff for that. What you can do, so just copy and paste the nodes here and then just add the textures in. That's what I usually do anyway. So you guys can do that. Now the last bit that we're going to do now is actually finishing off the bones as well. Usually the facial bones here is the kind of the most important bit. So if we go to move the head bone and stuff like that, it's not going to turn out very well. Like the head, it doesn't look very nice. So, <laughs> oh my God. But as well, what we're going to need to do is actually go to the bones here, go to relation. And we need to actually change that one to just head instead of dot zero zero one. So if we go back to that, go to from pose to edit mode and change this to heads. And there we go, guys. Hopefully that has helped you guys out. If it has, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. We've had a lot of support on the channel recently from my last tutorials. And hopefully you guys are enjoying them because I'm enjoying starting to upload again. So hopefully... You have learned a lot throughout this video as well. Leave comments down below of what tutorials you'd like to see next. I'm very interested in what you guys like to see. If it's more things to do with Blender or if you'd like to see some more things to do with Photoshop. Maybe more thumbnail designs, headers, anything that you guys really want. Just let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.